Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome back to Let's Play the Uncertain Episode 1. This 3D scanner can identify the shape of an object and create a 3D voxel model. Uh, okay. I guess if, maybe if I get something that's not working, I can replicate it. Man, 3D printers are so insane. They are basically the replicators from Star Trek in protoform or something. It is science fiction becoming a reality. Is this containers? Power sources are extremely rare and valuable, but I cannot move them because my chassis will not withstand the high physical stress. All right, yeah, we we'll get it. You're a techno robot. You are not a actual uh, carrying robot. Disable the security system. I am sorry, you are not authorized for this request. Use the nearest security terminal. What kind of research has been conducted in this lab? I am sorry, you oh, are God damn it. not authorized to access this information. What do you know about humans? A human is a reasoning and speaking living being, able to create tools and apply them for purpose of social labor. I am aware of this information. What can you tell me about the agenda of the USS? I am sorry. I can only operate within a narrow range of answers. Ask questions correctly. It looks like it is not only her answers that are narrow. Why did humans leave the lab? Damn. Snarky. Due to a leak of a poisonous toxin, SCR, CRW, all the personnel was immediately evacuated. The lab is not safe for humans until I find a way to reboot air ventilation and disable the turrets. All right. Can I go? Is there a door here? I can't actually tell. I don't think so. When is the food distributor gonna be fixed? He spat out liquid goo instead of chocolate bar again. I'm tired of going through the entire lab just to get a decent chalk bar. I mean, we only have a 15 minute break. That was kinda useless. Alright, what the hell do we have in here? Because it was secret. Who the hell knows? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Uh, what is that? Oh, Maybe for later? For many years. The I wish I could skip the dialogue.
Alright, maybe for later then. I don't see any security systems yet, so... He said use a nearby console, but... Probably biological weapons. Bioscanners. Great. We will be able to scan and treat the sick here. Damn, those are uh, nice. I like an MRI if you have ever done that. Which are pretty claustrophobic. Yeah, this is great, but this doesn't help me at all. I don't see any console I can use to um, disable the security system. There is nothing over here actually. It's all very pretty, but uh, it doesn't help me get into the mainframe. It doesn't make sense either to go that way. I should be able to disable them without doing that. Hmm. I think I'm missing something, but I'm not sure what it is. Try talking to the AI again. Or VI. Oh, we can't. Well, crap. Yeah, I don't see anything else to use over here. This is the only usable thing and it just... It's not doing anything. This thing has no power, so I can't use it. Go that way, can use this. Don't see anything interactable. Or door like. Well, crap. Oh wait, there's another door over there. I see it. Uh, uh, that was... Not the best. I see the door. But it's not opening. Why? Huh. Why I get no interaction from the console? Maybe the power is off. It's weird, right? We use the robot to get in here, so that means the security system but should still be active when we do this puzzle. That means that here, either on the left or in front, is where uh, we get something we need uh, to progress. And I didn't actually get anything. Maybe turning on the AI will let me uh, use that other console. I don't know. We'll see. Shh, that was too close. Uh, this is oh, this is where the robot is or was. Okay. How do I get out?
I actually can't go where I came from unless it's this way. Yeah, there we go. I don't know where my character is, these cameras. There we go. Hopefully the um, console will actually work now because uh, otherwise I'm kinda stuck on what to do. This is the generator room, right? If I can do anything else that I missed. The generator is working again. Need to search the other chambers. Now. Nope. I somehow doubt that I will suddenly be able to use the console, but we'll see. The only thing we did was basically spoke to Evie. Can I get that green goo? No. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this will help. The turrets are not a threat to us anymore. Are you kidding me? I tried that before and you said no. I guess we did uh, just need to speak to Evie. No, I don't remember actually where the ventilation system is. Try to find it. Might be on the right over here. Yeah, I think there it is. Alright, success. I think something is about to go wrong. Return to the hospital. Yep. I repeat, do not return to the hospital. We are urgently evacuating. Several police aero cars are approaching us right now. We managed to hijack a shuttle, and Fletcher used it to pick up humans from the city depot. Go there and warn them. Somehow the police found out about our plans. I will contact you later. There is a mole. The message was sent half an hour ago. The police could have set a trap in the depot. I must reboot the engines to get there as soon as possible. I must overload it says, and he said I must reboot. Again, some proofreading would have helped. Not that's a big issue, but just saying. I'm starting to think that maybe this is not one episode, but uh, they call their first game episode one. I guess we'll see, but so far we're heading towards the third and fourth hour mark. And that's way too big uh, for the usual episodic content. Oh, is that a human? Damn. The police are everywhere. This might be the end of the episode, actually. I 
Come on, come on, what's where you're going? It is the end of the episode, alright. So it is episodic. And that was pretty good. I'm not sure how the hell we'll escape from there with all those caps, but we found our first human. The yeah, uncertain episode one, the last quiet day. That was a pretty good episode actually. I really, really enjoyed it. It it managed to have not a single one weird puzzle. Everything was easily found. I didn't get stuck anywhere, which is a first for me. <laughs> I'm really crap uh, at these games. Although I like adventures, I am not really great at them. I really liked the voiceover was good, the story was good, the art was good, the animations were fantastic most of the time. I don't know. That was a. Uh, one of the best first episodes I have played in quite a while. Common Games did a pretty good job. Hopefully they can uh, release their uh, next episode uh, quickly enough. Because I really enjoyed this and I want to play more of it. Good job. I was... It was surprising. I don't know why. Because I probably never heard the company before. I'm really grateful that they actually sent me a key to play this. It was pretty cool of them too. Alright, I'll wait out the... Um, credits to see if there is anything uh, after them. And... Uh, hopefully there is, if not, well. Oh, something a company should do when they put credits. Give the player the option to fast forward through them. I guess you can probably escape out of them, but... When sometimes you do that, you lose... Um, whatever scene is after the credits, if there is one, so... I'm hesitant to ever do that. Oh, and this uh, developer is Russian, so I think the game is also out in uh, that language. The music was really good, and I think it's all of... It's theirs. So I didn't get any... content ID, and I see people from uh, other places too, so... I guess, like most small indie studios, they wear multiple hats in development. But yeah. I guess the only negative thing I can find about the first episode is that uh, the English proofreading isn't great uh, on uh, the subtitles. They should um, get someone that uh, has no issues with the language to go through the subtitles. There weren't a lot of mistakes. Just here and there, they could be easily fixed. And apparently there were a lot of tracks. This is a family thing. At least a lot of the people have the same last name. Maybe they are common last names, I guess, in Russia. I would have no idea about that.
I wonder if there is any information on when the next episode is. Maybe a screen that tells us. No. We get no info. Alright, hopefully enough. It's only enough. For now, thank you for watching this uh, first episode's uh, Let's Play. Again, this is a pretty good game, so I definitely suggest uh, if you are interested in uh, adventure games to go get it, play it, enjoy it. And I will see you next time when the next episode uh, comes out.